Kirk Cameron, old duty, doing work, helping people. That's, that's what's been going on there, isn't it? Nice to see a royal doing that. It certainly is, Patrick. Good afternoon. Yes, it's really a project she's been working on, the Princess of Wales, for over a decade now. And she is gearing up, as you say, to launch a national campaign next week focused on early childhood development. And it's all about this idea, this scientific research, which shows that the first five years of a child's life has a huge impact on their future life chances. So, for example, if a child has a particularly bad first five years of life due to neglect or something like that, the chances of mental health problems or uh, homelessness or unemployment really does go up. So the Princess of Wales has gathered a group of experts here at Windsor Castle today to try and develop some kind of strategy to tackle this. And yesterday I spoke to one of those experts, Dr Alan Gregory, and he told me that the princess is really focused particularly on the social and emotional development of young children in the UK. It is an enormous personal commitment from the Princess of Wales and it is a highly well-informed, intelligent one. She really understands the science behind all of this and really is committed uh, to making a big difference to everyone's lives. So what's the state of early years provision in the United Kingdom? Well, not great, according to a number of experts, but one in particular, Neil Lynch, who's the chief exec of the Early Years um, Alliance, told me that more than 5,000 um, early years um, uh, early years places have shut down actually in the last 12 months. That's partly due to a lack of government funding, he told me last week. Now, the Royal Foundation that looks after Will and Kate's charity work has now appointed a former Downing Street special advisor, David Cameron, to head up the Early Years Centre for Early Years um, Development with the Princess of Wales. Um, it was launched in 2021, and the Princess has actually been to Denmark, which is seen as a world le leader in this area, to see how they do things. As I said, she's launching this national campaign late, uh, uh, next week, so we'll just have to see. It's dubbed as her legacy. It's her Prince's Trust moment, referring to the um, former Princess of uh, former Prince of Wales now. Sorry, for, yeah, former Prince of Wales now King. His work with inner city school children. So it's perhaps going to be the Princess of Wales's legacy. So we've got to see which details are going to be announced next week.